What's up, Gecko Tricos? My name is Rock Septile, and welcome to another Top 5. Last Sci Fi, we did Top 5 Kanto Pokemon, and today we have the winning Top 5 Johto Pokemon. So, guys, without any further ado, let's get started. But before I do this, I just want to remind you all that this is 100% opinionated. So, if you disagree with me, be sure to leave your own Top 5 in the comment section below. week we have Azumarill. Uh, Azumarill is the evolution of Meryl. It has been introduced in Gen 2 and all the Pokemon that have been uh, in this Johto list is going to be um, all related to second gen and Azumarill is one of these Pokemon. Uh, Azumarill is really really bulky and it is a good attacker when you give it huge power which was introduced in Gen 3. Um, I also like Azumarill's design. Um, I really like the nicknames that people give to Azumarill. I've used a couple of them myself. Um, Azumarill's pre-evolutions, which are Azuril and Meryl, I have not been really fond of with Azuril because it's normal and it's really, really frail and weak. It is really, really weak. Not even, yeah, it's really weak. Meryl is okay, but I really like Azumarill. It is just it's just it's like a mega itself it like aqua jet and belly drum with huge power that is a huge threat that's why azuma is number five on this top fives list number four spot we have him on top so you're just wandering around and this happened to me i actually got an egg from the daycare man or lady i don't really remember i'm in pokemon crystal i just I was moving around, moving around, and this egg just doesn't want to get hatched. And after a couple of tries, it actually evolved into a Pokemon that I have never seen before, which was Tyrogue. Well, back then I have never seen it before. But yeah, Tyrogue, I didn't really, man, like, I didn't know how the, it evolved at the first. Because in Red or Blue, I, you always got him on top of him on Lee, like, instantly. So... I, I keep training up it up to level 20 and it evolved into a him on top and I was like I was expecting a him on the at first but then I was like what the hell is this and then I checked its stats its stats were equal and then I looked it up and I I found out that him on top actually evolves if the attack and defense of your Tyrogue is equal and I just love this thing this thing works as a rapid spinner as an attacker as a solar whatever you want Emma Top is number four on this top five list. Number three spot we have Heracross. Heracross is by far our most one of the most popular buck type and the most fan favorite buck type out there. The only way to get Heracross in Hero Gold and Soul Silver is to bump trees behind um, in Azalea Town, and I just couldn't seem to get one myself until. Uh, I like I've been there for like almost two hours trying to find a hair cross only encountering Ekans and Spiros really pissed me off But finally encountered my hair cross. It is just it is a beast and even helps you out a lot With Whitney's gym as it gets brick breaks so early and it's just overall a good Pokemon Even when adding its mega evolution it gets that double amazingness That is why hair cross is number three on this list and um, yeah, I am really fan. Also, I like um, Heracross's design, the single horn, um, a really good move set for Heracross. As it gets into Mega Evolution, it gets Skill Link. That is just double amazing. It's just double amazing. So yeah, Heracross is number three. Oh, mighty number two spot. We have the bulky Porygon two. Porygon two. I really love this Pokemon, and um, in competitive battling, this thing could be just the end of your life. This thing could like lead you to suicide. The, if you give Porygon 2 an Eviolite, my lord, that bulkiness will last for days, for years, how long. Um, you can evolve it by using the dubious desk and trade into a Porygon Z, but I, I haven't done that. I actually have a Porygon 2 with an AV light, and I have really, 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 really jerked off a lot of people with it. Just give it Toxic and 
like bulk out um, moves all day, use protect, and then that's a dead opponent. Porygon 2 is really amazing. I also like its design. I would like uses its legs as kind of machines or wheels. And yeah, it is an overall really, really good Pokemon. It gets variety of moves like Signal Beam, Psychic, and Blizzard, no, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt. All these moves. Um, Porygon 2 is in the number two spot. Yep. The number one spot and my favorite, personal favorite Johto Pokemon is Scizor. Scizor. Uh, evolves by a metal coat and it is a bug and steel type Pokemon. I really think that's a really really cool typing That's a really really good moveset and also it gets a mega evolution Um, I like its spinsters when the mega evolves really really cool Um, as my personal moveset for scissor is bullet punch, swords dance, night slash and um, x scissor Since scissor is actually uh, pincer Pokemon and it is a really good attacker it can deal up it can like deal a hit even with technical its ability uh, you can sword stance and then use bullet punch and that's like basically GG for your opponent basically if you don't know technical um, like below 60 um, damage uh, it hires its um, attack rate, so that is pretty, pretty cool. That is why Scissor is my top personal favorite Johto Pokemon of this region. So much for joining me in this top 5 Johto Pokemon. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to smash that like button or just drop it if you want. Comment down below your personal top 5 Johto Pokemon. Subscribe for more top 5s. I really put effort into this. It is a new edited top 5, and I hope you enjoyed it. It is... Like by far most, this is the third top five, but by far most, it is the most one I have worked on with all the new editing things I learned with it. So dropping that like and subscribe um, really, really helps out. And don't forget to follow for the next top five. It is going to be either home Pokemon again or Sinnoh Pokemon. So don't forget to vote, guys. I've been Relic Septile, and I'll see you all later.